Hey, welcome back. So I know this video is ge gonna generate so much hate. Oh my God, it's gonna generate so much hate from the Tesla fan crowd, from anybody in Yield Max. It is, it is, I know it is. But I have to share this because I found this after I was like looking into why the hell Coney dropped so much. And I thought I'd share this as just a warning to investors. Now, this is just my opinion. It's not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Stay invested in whatever the hell you like and ride it out. Do, do whatever you want. It's your life. It's your investment. Um, but here, I'm going to talk about why yield max funds, I believe, are not going to be good over the long term. And I'm going to give you some examples of what they've done with Tesla and Coney. Okay? So... Anybody in yield max probably has heard the fact that in yield max ETFs capture all the downside, but only a portion of the upside. Okay, well, you know, most of us went into it going, okay, well, yeah, we can deal with that, not knowing the, the ramifications of that exactly, which is not good. So it's like, so here's what the ramifications are. Let's take a look at the underlying stock for Tesla. This is Tesla. We're looking at the one year chart. Overall, it looks pretty good. It's like up, up, upwards, right? It's got some ups and downs, but we we are we're almost double the price that we were about twelve months ago. So that's good. Let's take a look at the Tesla ETF that uh, corresponds to Tesla. Let's take a look at this exact opposite story. We are down fifty percent. So we doubled on Tesla. And we reduced by half Tesla. So why is this? Okay, it's because there's so much downward pressure. When Tesla makes a move to the down, down, downside, it's going to drag Tesla down. And when Tesla moves up, it can only pull Tesla up a little bit. And I discovered this, you know, I was, I was in Tesla for a while. And I was looking at the numbers, what was happening to, to the ETF price. And I was like, this sucks. I'm underwater. I'm going to take my money and move it to Coney where things are better, where you get a higher yield. And Coney is on the, on the move. It's going up. Let's take a look at Coinbase, the underlying stock to the Coney ETF. And what it's done specifically over the past six months, we can see that Coinbase had a really, really, really nice run up. And then it had a pretty sharp correction recently in the past couple of days and weeks. So, so we see that. So not bad, not bad at all. So we went up, you know, significantly came down a little bit, not bad. That's just par for the course. Let's take a look at what happened to Coney, the ETF associated with Coinbase. Okay, wow. Okay, basically, we went up significantly and then we retraced and lost all of our gains, all of our gains, 100%, because we captured 100% of the downside of Coinbase. 100%. We, we did, you know, it's like we took all the downside, but only captured a little bit of the upside. That's why we see there's a lot more up on the coin chart than there is down, but there's the same amount of up and down on Coney. This is this is the problem with yield max ETFs. And I discovered this when I started looking into Coney. I'm like, holy shit, this is not good for the long term, because over the long term, all stocks go up and down. This is the nature of things. Let's just take a look at Tesla. Let's take a look at the five year like, you know, things are up and down down. Tesla had a great run, but you know, things are up and down all the time. That's that's the course of, of the normal stock market. That's how things operate. But it has a disastrous consequence for anybody in a uh, yield max ETF that's tied to that underlying stock because there's so much downward pressure that it's going to drag things down. Now, I am going to title this video something like Tesla and Coney can go to five bucks. So I think they can. Like they, we had a 50% drop in the past 12 months from 20 bucks down to 10 bucks. I'm pretty sure that we could absolutely see a drop of 50% again in the next 12 months from $10 to $5. So so I, I, there's no doubt in my mind that that could be in the cards. Not a guarantee, obviously, just my opinion, just the theoretical, but that could actually happen. So Coney, Coney, let's talk about Coney a little bit. Uh, oh, before I do this, so one of the things that Tesla fans or Tesla fans say is like, well, if, if the share price is dropping, I'm just going to buy more shares. I'm going to take my distributions and buy more shares. And it's like, okay, well, then then it, from my standpoint, like you don't really have a profit. You don't really have a distribution that's profitable because you're having to stick all that money back into the machine that is getting smaller and smaller over time. You're having to put money back in there to make the machine bigger again to try to get back to the original size that you had to me, that's not a winning game. That's not a winning game at all. It's like, no, your your total return is either you're other, underwater or you have a very low return. When you figure distributions after taxes is a big deal. You got to factor that in and calculate that. So let's talk about Coney. And uh, I guess it's medium uh, term future. So if we look at Coinbase first, the underlying coin stock, we can kind of see if we zoom out to the five year that we, if we go back to, if I, I'm assuming we're going to go back to similar levels that we saw in the last bull run, which means we have a, a, a you know, quite a ways to go 
for Coinbase stock. So I would imagine we'd, we're going to capture a portion of that, not all of that, but a portion of that, and it'll be wrapped into the Coney price. So Coney price should increase at some point. It could drop lower from here. I don't know. I can't, I don't have a crystal ball. I can't tell the future, but uh, it might drop lower or it might stop here and start its, its reversal and go up again. But we're not going to capture all the upside, but we'll capture some of it. And I think Coney is not a terrible investment over the over the next 18 months. But I've said this in a past video, like Coney, I think, is going to drop like a rock after the bull run is over because Coinbase stock is likely to drop after that. And if it does, it's going to drag down Coney with it. So we could absolutely, absolutely see a $5 Coney. I don't know what it's going to be. It all depends on the starting price and the, the, the amount of drop that Coinbase actually has after the bull run. But just as an FYI, like this, this could happen. This could happen. I don't like this. I don't even know that I'm going to recommend yield max ETFs after this. I honestly, I've been thinking about this. I'm like, this is uh, in general, they're kind of a crappy investment from my standpoint because of this fact that they have so much heavy drag on them to the downside that, that unless you're in an ETF that has a, a stock underlying it that has incredible potential like coinbase stock. coinbase is very cyclical right it's it goes with the crypto markets it's like it's going to do its thing and rise from the ashes in the in the lead up to the crypto bull run then you have a really good opportunity to get in and uh and and see the the price of coney increase from wherever you got in if you got in the depths of crypto winter for example so um but 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 all these things suffer from the same thing. So it's it's inevitable from my standpoint, mathematically, that Coney and Tesla are not going to hit five bucks, and then four bucks, and then three bucks. You know, they might pull some tricks, like you know, trying to combine stocks with a, like a reverse split or something. They might they might try to do that, but they're gonna. It's it's inevitable unless unless somehow Tesla. And Coinbase just continue to rock it up and don't stop. That's the only way to maintain a, 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 an upward movement in these. And to maintain a stable movement, you still have to have more upward movement than downward movement because the we capture 100% of the downside and only a little bit, only a small portion of the upside. So you just look at these things and go, well, the obvious, obvious outcome is that there's going to be more drag, more downward pressure. So the, the, the price of the shares is going to come down. So... If you look at that and you step back and take a look at it and go, okay, we're getting these juicy yields from yield max, you know, up to like 100 plus percent from Coney, right? It's like juicy. But then you have to look at what happens with the erosion of your initial investment. Or if you're in te Tesla, you got to look at what happens to the erosion of your initial investment. Compare that to your after-tax dividends. And, and then do a calculation and go, is this really a good investment? I don't know. Like I said, I, I, I look at this and I go, I don't even know that I want to recommend yield max ETFs anymore. Honestly, honestly, based on what I've learned this past weekend, you know, from the, the, the Coney drop, Coinbase drop, and I did the research, I'm like, damn, I don't even know. I don't even know because I don't even, I can't even say that they're good investments at this point, which, which makes me really sad, actually, because... I had a lot of hope for these things. I think a lot of people did. But the reality is, the way I look at it, it, over the long term, these things are not because there's too much downward pressure. And that's the problem. And I know this is going to be a highly unpopular opinion. I can't wait to see the flame comments. I can't. There's going to be so much fucking hate from Tesla lovers out there. Oh, it's like, I, I can't wait to see. It's good. But what? Bring it on. Bring it on. Like, all you got to do is look at the chart and we'll, we'll talk. We'll talk. We will do a follow up video in like a year and we'll talk about $5 Tesla you know, and, and $10 Coney or whatever, you know, and we'll, we'll talk about it. So it's like, well, maybe I'll have a live stream where we'll all talk about what happened in 2024. You guys make your own decisions. As I've said, none of this is investment advice, financial advice. I'm just a dude in a Jeep who's not in his Jeep right now. Hope you guys are having a wonderful Sunday and I will see you soon. Take care.